Thanks for mezzing around in Vampire Survivors Beswick 290. We got Scrojoni, Bat Robert, Space Dude, and Bats 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 over here on Neo Galaga. And in the background for me, I will be watching Mori Calliope play Dark Souls 3 on her VOD. This is going to be about 3 hours and 28 into the VODs for episode 1. So excited for her to finally play it. And her reaction to Index Gunther did not disappoint. Anyway, Scrojoni is on the last of the base game character list. Or, uh, the Beswick. Yep, we're almost to having me play a DLC character as my primary. Pretty dang fast, that Beswick. Pretty dang fast, that fifth wave. And I have even less idea what to do. I should have grabbed Mad Group for the Garkana again. I need to keep remembering that. I just go straight for Bolero, because Bolero! Bolero! Oh, I should have said like 32840 to start with. Uh, seconds. Not microseconds. Yeah, she's exploring, looking for, trying to find the plus of man hollow. And uh, dragon. I suppose it's the sheer paranoia that had her hit the chest. And like every chest in Dark Souls 3 is a mimic. There's like, what, four that aren't? I was hoping she would get eaten, just because it would have been funny. And I'm a bad person. Oh man, so much Scrojoni ain't going on. Oh, anti-random and into lightning ring. Amazing. Ow. Headphones. Yep, she's lost and confused. My wall of Lothric is a bit funky like that. But if she got through Elden Ring's twists and turns, she can get through this. And this is the time of the recording. It'll be like 1.40ish. Until she starts playing episode 2. After she gets done with her mythical lab with Amelia Watson. Why, Ame, why? She'll find that ladder eventually. Ladder, ladder, climb the ladder, lower it as you desire. Bring it up ever higher. Climb the ladder. Yay, she found the ladder. I want to be able to tell my way around High Wall of Lothric at all today. I barely remembered where to go when I was playing Elden Ring in uh, whatchamacallit place. Uh, Baramazula. I got completely turned around trying to find Godskin Duo. Yep, plus a man. Then you realize you just throw a firebomb at the plus man and they're toast. They do not like fire at all. Yeah, Scorzoni's taking a beating. Hmm. Well, I'll save the... Whatchamacallit, NFT, until something really dangerous comes up. This team's a bit funky. At least with bats, bats, bats going down. Actually, dude... Yep, ambush. You got hurt. She hates him. Hates them all. Dark Souls 3 is when the enemies really started getting much taller than you. Really awkward looking back on it. Oh, everything just towers over you with the every... <coughs> Burp. Burp. Ugh. My arm is super bruised right now. That donation... Boy, did it have issues. Well, place the right brain exists still. Also, put the heating pad on. The light keeps going out on the staying pad. Oh well. Issue with having it beyond the inner elbow. It's really hard to crook a thing there. Control it still. Friendship fine. Hey, Grey Rat. No hero wars. I do not care about you. God, that thing's commercials are so annoying. 
Okay, re-roll, re-roll. Where are you? A mad roof. Oh, I must have went past it. Uh-oh. Oh, awake's fine, if not necessary. All has been told. A legend is born. Gray rat, kill gray rat. Oh, that village. Barata. Hey, it's a, an attractor. That's neat. Good old gray rat. Someone who cannot die if you actually don't uh, cause it. Oh, a rare thing. And empty. Burn, dragon burn. Oh. And of course, Empty Tome is the last one. Last passive. Uh, song Man of No oh, Skull. Well, there are armadillos around. Uh, that might be worth grabbing even over. Sign Old Sanctuary to grab the armadillo or to get Menjula with Skull of Corruption. Hey. Okay. Low tier Sting Wing, yay. She never found that in Dark Souls. Wait. Earliest waves, things you can get to. Cry. Cry, ring. Hey, but. Ooh, death for the death goddess. It is very useless. Yes, yes. Clearly, she's alive. You do know what tiers you're playing, right? Oh, I forgot to switch out Clover for Spellbinder again. Not that it really matters that much. That Clover's... Heck, it's gonna turn it into Heaven Sword, so that's good. Ring. Hey, there's my empty tome. Finally. Getting it from a bloody chest. Of all things. Ooh. Fire. Let's burn. And I can get the detract orb. Unless I finally got my empty tome. What is this flask in a dream? Did she actually use her shard? I don't recall her doing it. They managed to tree glitch up to the top of Fire Link. Hey, there we go. Oh, I'm gonna miss Mad Groove again, aren't I? No. More! More ring! Oh, this is gonna accomplish nothing. Wait, what? That wasn't... an evolution chest. Why didn't it give me an evolution? Amadio, uh, uh, Amadio. A skull. Bonus box, because. Yeah, well, I guess nothing really matters. Here, Jisu would. Alright, I could have gotten Jail of Crystal for Prism Lass. Sovereign, you list your souls. Oh, there's still another pickup. Ooh, less is more mentality. Get all the text. Who cares about story? Smash bad guy. No oh, fire keeper. You are fire keeper -y. Yeah, I get that Vigor up. Bye bye, Ashen One. Flames, flames, Gwyn was right. Deep is in an element. Like the lightning spear. 
Oh, you are going to Oonga Boonga, so it's fine. Maximum nerd. Full nerdage. You watch anime, you're already a nerd. You're a VTuber. You can't not be a nerd if you're a VTuber. Deep isn't dark. It's some other type of damage. Because there's a dark weapon. The deep is completely separate from everything. It's so separate. It's annoying. Even it's supposed to mean. Who cares? Who wants to be literate? I always forget which game is going for which upgrade system with its stuff. How many large, small, big, super duper mega shards it takes? There it goes. Or you could get ahead of the curve with the shards. Oh, I'm fussy. Yeah, this is the one where it's really confusing. Yes, for shards, but the... Kill Andre. Why would you kill Andre, Mori Calliope? There's no other blacksmith. He just respawns. And now they're going to spoil it for her. What? Why well, are you going to look up a video when you could just find out yourself? Experiment, Mori Calliope. Experiment. It clearly won't go terribly. Uh, someone actually told her about the statue of Elka, but she doesn't believe in it. I mean, no one ever remembers. Oh, what is his name? Oh man, I can't even remember his name. Oswald. I believe it's Oswald of Kareem. Forgive me. Forgive me. Okay, she's more receptive to the sorry statue. I mean, it's a serious downgrade for um, sorry Pope, Turtle Pope, but what is it? Why turtles were all over the place? Wow, dropping red gems already. And Maiden also responds. Not that anyone ever really does that. No, oh, I don't think an intended graves handmaiden responds, does she? That whole area is weird. Push, 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 oh, blow up. Mazo familiar, and mazo familiar. Double mazo familiar. All the bats. Get all the bats going. We can't stop. No, oh, it's not. I mean, it's. Humanity does come from rats, but us a man is. Well, serp anymore. I never really. Don't know really why she's calling it. Ready. And Grey Rat is more ready. Oh, yeah, Grey Rat should be in fire like now that she's talked with him. Black Firebomb. Let's toss it at the uh, Possum Man and it'll go down, no trouble. Right into a vacuum. Good level up. Back off, bad guy. Kicks. Kick, kick, kick everything. Kick is really good in 3. Especially in Boreal Valley. Just kick all them shielding guys and bam, it'll set them up for the win. Uh, she hasn't fought the wing knights yet. Don't plunge and attack. Or are they called the angel knights? No, I'm just gonna call them wing knights. You know what they are if you play Dark Souls 3 considerably. Dear, dear viewer. Loop around the edge of the stage. Fighting that, fighting this, fighting everything. 
and making sure bats are everywhere. Maybe I'll get another Arcana. Maybe I won't. Ugh. Getting the heating pad and the crook of the arm is so annoying. Okay. Yeah, not the real wing knight yet. Just some of the flavor doodads. But she's right outside where one is. And it's gonna be a beefy one. Oh, did she fight it? Did I not notice it? Earlier? I watched, like, a good few hours live. Don't skip them. You have to learn how to fight them. You want to fight them when there's three of them. Oh, God, what a rough fight that was. Got that. Lothric Civil War. Big and dangerous. Go oh, see that guy above you. Also, Taka's here. One's always slinging shade at Mori Calliope. Also, it's happening in game two. Hey, candy box. What? Why is it someone else? And it doesn't matter. I'm not going to get enough levels to max out anything. Maybe she did beat, fight him, and get rolled. Wing Knights are a beefy one. Kind of funny, because way back in the day I knew someone playing Dark Souls 2 and got really stuck on all the knights. And I was like, yeah, those are literally all the enemies in the first trip to the high wall near Bort and stuff. And I was like, yeah, Lothric Knights and the Wing Knights are literally eight late game enemies that are just downscaled. So that's why their movement sets are so mean and their aggression is so high for what it is. No, I'm not attacking Big Fuzz. He's good to the workers. Please, hire me, Big Fuzz. Please. Desiccated corpse. The 20 man slayer. That's who I wish to be. Guy in armor gets destroyed by another guy. Yeah, she's just still lighting holo soldiers. I don't think these guys are ever actually given a name. Hmm. Rod, most enemies are given a name or even I mean, obviously they're hollowed, but are like they hollow soldiers, hollow warriors, and no wikis for Dark Souls. I will never ever call the guys who drop the hollow soldiers gear hollow knights. You are wrong. I don't care what the internal says. If they drop that equipment, they are hollow soldiers. The other ones are hollow warriors and not hollow soldiers. If they drop the warrior set, not the soldier set. Yep, there's a thing. Oh, hey, it's death. In red form, not reaper, and not Cali form. Yep, that's a whole bunch of damage, eh? Time to get hectic on the hectic highway with Scrojoni, Space Dude, Gyorun Tin, and Meowing Moonspell. Hopefully we'll keep the stalker at bay. As yeah, so we get plenty of chests. In the background, I am going to be reacting to Mori Kalapi playing Dark Souls 3, the third one, part one. Roughly starting from 3.46.40 on the VOD if you like the Colleen Rock. Immediately go into an ad. Yes, yes, Sprizzy, if you were so good at it, why aren't you a millionaire? Why doesn't your channel have more subscribers than God? What's that? Because the advice is the same across all of them. And it ultimately boils down to get lucky with good content? Wow, who could have seen that coming? It doesn't matter how much CO, thumbnail, all that jazz you do. The content isn't there, it isn't there. And my voice is not one you want to hear droning on. Unless you're one of my subscribers, so thank you all, the 198 who are there. Oh, at least 198 at the time. Big ol' axe dude. Big ol' axe dude, taken down in one combo. 
Yep, young. Yep, shortcut to the forest bonfire. Yeah, she's in the Vort in Emma area. Duplicator. You know, Thunderloop looks like two duplicators wedged together after they've been stretched out. Not that that's happening right now, but... Well, w what is going to happen? I got Kyurun Tin and Scrooge Oni and heck, even Myung's here. And I've got to switch out Spellbinder again, oh well. Baron. Oh. Abandon and Reckless Abandon are two different things. She was looking at the Green Blossom description. Boy, howdy, is that reaction to the Abyss Watcher is always a good one to look out for. Oh, I was trying to get that chest, but then he got pushed up by the spawns. Don't fight the wing tonight. It only leads to pain and suffering. As the Lothar Knights have found out in abundance. Boy, howdy. Oh, the cats are what's hitting me. Well, good thing I have a lock bonus for no one who is going to be kind of fitting that. Huh. Oh, I mean... Whatever. Oh, she's going past it. She really does not want to fight the Winged Knight, and I get it. I don't want to fight a lot of enemies. Yeah, go figure. Okay, gotta remember that exists, but I doubt I'll do. Yeah, that's definite. Eventually, though, once you fight them enough, you'll learn that there's some trick to easily take care of them. Like the ancient knights in Hyde. Just. You'll soon realize that as long as you just move in a very simple pattern. You can just go right by all their troublesome attacks and deal with them without any trouble. Well, you can still do a running jump. Don't lie to her, chat. No, wait. Actually, I can't attack you yet till I get around. Or a space dude can just pick up the chest anyway. Alright, go space dude. Yeah. Uh, time for tongue against a guy down on his knees. No oh, Dark Souls community, you've never changed. Where the heck is the music? Why is the ambience so loud here at this spot? Like. All right, she. Contacts. Why does it get so dang funky? Them. Oh, hey, there we go. There's my sanctuary that is silent and old. But is it really a sanctuary if it is? Wow, oh, I didn't even get. Man, these are some pretty big long gun shots. Oh, Mina Son means a message. Huh. So, how poorly you put into your eyes your contact if this is knocking it out? Probably try to get a different brand. I mean, if you just move off it. Oh, ew. That's why I've never saw the appeal of contacts. It goes, this seems like so much trouble over our glasses. All the 
this sweet, sweet Kelly. <laughs> you know, I probably heard at one point you did wear contacts. Or you, you know, don't care enough to remember that kind of fact. But now I will, because I'm talking about it. Well, then again, I do not remember anything about all the stuff I've been talking about for the last few seconds. Go figure. I haven't found any bloody chests. Man, these cats are everywhere. Wait, why is Space Dude facing to the left? Definitely hasn't moved. <laughs> uh, not getting into any of these chests. There we go. I'll fire. Ah, uh, wait, there's another chest. More chest, and I missed. No. Yeah. Oh, I have two prototypes. Or, well, I can get two prototypes. I have two, three guns. Oh man, they're getting in way too often, considering what's happening on screen. Hey, random Azo. Uh, what should I Azo? This is a good one. Double attacks. Can't go wrong with attacking twice. I suppose attacking four times with space. Dude, maybe. Huh. Yep, Lothark Knight fighting. Yep, there we go. Hey, another chest. So many chests, so little time. Give him a kick. Give him a kick. Past Callie and Mori. Callie Mori. Mori Calliope. Calliope Mori. Calliope Moro. Yep, well, that's a Lothark Knight for you. Death just got a visit from herself. I think that's probably actually the other. Um. I think of the beginning, like, after tutorial areas, the High Wall of Lothark is probably the roughest, just because the Lothark Knights at the end are so matey. And the Puss of Man is a really nasty surprise. And it's almost the Angel Knight. Like, so many tough mobs in there. And you're not going to know what to do with Pussa Man when you start. Yeah, there's so many I'm missing. Huh, half a mil. Half a million. Half a thousand, or 100k. 50k. I mean, Undead Bird doesn't really have anything. Or anything, except like the firebomb section. And maybe the knockdown. I don't really count Havel there. It's closer to Dark Root. Man, I can't catch anything because Scrojoni is so slow. Uh, Force of Pine. You no, know, the Fort of the Force of Fallen Giants is pretty obnoxious for different reasons. More because it's just so intricate. And if you don't know how to get the. Shortcuts to the central bonfire can be a pain. But once you know how to handle the forest, it's all good. There's nothing you're going to be doing much in the way of stop it. Good grief, these cats. I think I got so many extra vibes going on. Oh, am I going to even last with the cats just hurting me this bad? Well, I guess Miyagi was fine. Doesn't help that you're recovering. Dark Souls 2 is a bit odd. With the Estus and the Life Gems. Everything gets partisan out peculiarly. Also, the really big dogs and three look weird. 
It is so large for no real reason. Uh, no, no closing the door. Oh, right, death is here. Yay. In red form, not pink form. One million on the cat, 16 on photon storm, three on no future, and nothing for Myong. Thanks for still watching. We got Moonlight Bolero, Dairy Plant, Scrojoni, Bats, 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 Roast and Furnace, and Guru Tin. This group of four has, well, all on the same exact row for selections. Kind of funny. And also, they totally would have done Dairy Plant beforehand on the fourth wave, but I felt it's probably running out of time and instead chose Boss Rash and White Out. Base 54 or something else. I can't remember. Anyway, this is Dairy Plant. A hard stage, but shouldn't be infeasible. As heck, it's not like there's really anything I can do. Anyway, on the back end, I will be watching Mori Calliope play Dark Souls 3. Continuing on from that, just in case you really love Dairy Plant and wanted to skip to this point. Festo. No oh, man. I'm gonna lose my empty tome, aren't I? Always empty tome that gets left behind when something like this happens. Continuing my reaction from 357.58. She's going down. No, 357.38 on her steam pod. It's going down an elevator. Oh, good. Armadillo. Water sucks. It really, really sucks. Water sucks. It really, really sucks. Gatorade H2O Gatorade H2O Water sucks It really really sucks Water sucks It really really sucks Well that was some very good memeing <laughs> Oh archers The bane of everything Oh did bats go down? No, I don't have another bats, bats, bats out there. The bats, bats, bats did not go down. Unfortunate. You're a reaper of your word. Yay, more chests. Ooh, a tripler. <laughs> that tut, I expected better than you, Calliope. Tongue butthole. Tut tut. Tut tut. Also, why did you even come this way? You don't need to come near the night of old. No. Oh. Wrong controller. I swear the shortcut just put you a plop out inside the Vort M area. Not, not dumped you out on the other side though. I don't know, maybe she backtracked to emote. Don't fight them on the stairs, that's even worse. More ray gunning. Or no phasering. Wait, why? Oh, right, I don't have. Hey, another arcana. Thanks for giving me our delicious chest, guy. Okay, once again, it's your rune tin. Actually, this is early enough that I could get away with Google of Illusion. Yeah. You have crown, and I'll pick up whatever I'm missing. And I suppose I could mad groove the next one for a tract orb. I want to see some nice big bats. The biggest bats there ever were. So big, you'll look at Castlevania and say, that's not a big bat. Not a big bat at all. Alright, she's beating one of the Lothric Knights. There's only like eight more to go. Heck, she hasn't even gotten to the Blue Knight yet. These are still the Red Capes. 
The legend of the Red Eyes Knight from Demon Souls lives on. Red Eyed Knight. Don't kill Emma. Spork. Well, hmm. I mean, sporks can have many prongs. It's not really consistent. It's all just about whoever wants to cheap out on it. No, no two-handed. No trouble. Yep, here's the blue cape. Nice. No crouching. Why would you crouch? There's no stealth. All those Londor pilgrims stacked right outside, Emma. And all the science rocks are gone. Yeah, there's more little thing. There's what, four of them plus the blue guy that's off to the side that you don't need to bother with? We, two, three. It's vigor, vigor, that's hell. She's got some armor. Hey, Lucerine. That's a big ol' hammer for you, Mori Calliope. Go Oonga Boonga. Remember the description? Well, not really. A lighter armed chest with higher armored appendages. It looks surprisingly okay. The layer cuffs. You saved him. Why do you want to steal his armor? Uh, I mean, you could get his armor. Yeah, it's a blue knight of Lothric. Test your might. Du -du 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 -du. Wow, that's not not the Tecmo beat remix ammo at all. Hey, there's nothing behind Red Eye Knight. Yeah, you fight him anyway when you first get there. Well, unless you really want to go... Huh. Actually, you could just gank or Strava immediately and then go get some of the best armor and weapon in the game. I mean, I don't think you'll have the stats for it, but... You can do it. Man, it's so many chickens. That's a big ol' lightning. Uh, yep, she's playing the blue hair knight. And he's enchanted his sword. That's some holo da or light damage. Yep. One does not defeat the blue knight of Lothric easily. Yeah, get buff, Mori. Work them guns. So many bats, so many bats, so little time. For some reason, when I was out walking today, there were like so many stray dogs around, it was weird. Like there was just this random husky, scrounged around the bushes, came up to me, started nuzzling my feet. Then belly showing me, and they're like, dude, why are you showing me your belly? That's what you do to somebody you trust. I don't know you. I even looked around for like an owner or something, but there was no one. No collar either. No like missing posters, because there has been missing posters for dogs. Kind of looked like one I saw. That was like a month ago. So, if... This is the dog that was lost a month ago. He's taking care of herself. And lived. But definitely not dirty enough to be a street cat. She was definitely someone's. Well, that's a completely random tangent. Oh, man. There's still like seven minutes on this. 
I should be able to get this whole thing recorded before she goes live. Did the path really take her past the dang wing knight? I don't remember it. I swear it just emptied out on the other side. In the Vort area. Vort in my area. I guess the central... Bailey? I don't know. Now that I think about it. The terrain of Lothar Castle is really nonsensical, huh? Who could have ever seen that coming? Like, the central courtyard goes straight to the... Well, not even the main castle. Like, the second layer of defense. Well, you got this whole area off to the side that does... Kinda nothing. Because before the road got destroyed... It was the Vork Arena. It was just a straight shot from where Emma sits to the big old road. Road bridge. Bridge road. Oh, Scrojoni is the one that had Death Spiral. Look, Rose could no move win this on her own. Anything else is just gravy. Walla for Walla. Beaver Town. Probably unlikely, but I wonder if anyone's going to play some Secret and Remaster when it comes out. Highly doubt it, but hey, every generation possibly be a new fan. I sure hope that means they'll remaster rest of the series. I so hope so. I want to play 5 again. Heck, I want to play the whole series, but I don't know if I'll be around to. But, hey. Who knows? Hope can spring eternal. Also, it'll be nice to play well, basically every game that isn't Tactics in 5 with a translation that's re legible. Like, I know people want to harp about Two's translation being bad, but they were all bad, and the dialogue was really, really awkward at a lot of times. It's just two is infamous about being really incomprehensible at times, but one is equally bad at a lot. The lines are just really wretched to say if you actually try and pronounce them in real life. It's very noticeable, the gap between just four and tactics and five, which is still incredible. No, it doesn't. No, five is my favorite, but boy, howdy, is just the way dialogue is presented in that game a lot better than everything except tactics before it. It's just so much stilted nonsense that no one would reasonably say. Heavy attack. Alright, she's beating up some more Lothric Knights. Oh, she actually beat the Blue Cloak. R1 and... Read the Lothric Knight Sword. Oh, Lothric. Long, long ago. Venerable Direct Knights of Lothric. I brought in their drakes. Yep. They may be hollow, but they still retain the muscle memory, as it were. Burn, burn, burn in rocket science. Go speak with Emma. And kill Emma and fight Dancer. That will end only well. I don't even know who's supposed to be on what sides in this civil war. Maybe drag the Angel Knight over to the Lothar Knights they fight. I know they do have enemy the factions correctly tagged in three. Black Knights will annihilate Dark Wraiths. It's comical. 
how one-sided it is. How do you know she's old? Nope, Emma and Anne made are different. One of the three faction of Lothric. You know, Dark Souls 3 has kind of got the most confusing situation because, like, what is going on? Why is anything like it is? The way of the blue. They really should have combined the way of the blue and the blue sentinels for 3 in any other subsequent game. The splitting them like that was too obnoxious. And there goes Emma's any plot relevance. Vort! Hero that he was. Aldrich, you prick. Also, Sullivan, you super prick. Oh, hey, it's 29 minutes in. And there's Stalker showing off. Young isn't here yet, you pronk. Oh, actually, this is... Do it, do it. Fight the dancer, fight the dancer. As inexplicable as anything it is. Why are any of them doing this? And there's real death. Yay, real death. 17... 22, 10, 26. And here we are once more on Gallo Tower with Scrojone, Gyoru Tan, Mega Osuta Moonspell, and Gavit only. Yes, Moonspell or Gallo Tower has been conquered by so many characters that I am already halfway through the first DLC. Yep. That's six downs. And Gavadoni has already gone down because he's just that terrible. Horrifying, Gavadoni. Absolutely horrifying. I'm going to have to sit Scrojoni on you just so that there's a chance you survive. And I still don't have Spellbinder. Well, it's on the map. I just keep forgetting there's so much other stuff to do, like checking off the Bezwick in correct order. Oh, and I have knives! Nah! Hey, a chest. Oh, you got Shadow Servant. Too bad you weren't getting a Finian, so neither are you a weapon. Well, no, I could just uh, Mad Groove up. Spellbinder, if I was feeling puckish. Anyway, back to what I am watching and reacting to and sort of half-reacting video of this. It's Mori Calliope playing Dark Souls 3, the first episode VOD. 413? 13. He has just met with Emma in the High Wall of Lothric and is being goaded into trying to attack her. Do it. Fight! Fight the Dancer of the Boreal Valley! Or Vort! And she has just asked about the multiple endings and... Oh. Actually, uh... Oh, it has the most endings of all the games, doesn't it? There's heck Dark Souls required its DLCs or two required its DLCs to change its ending to one or two. One two and Dark Souls two and Dark Souls two. And then there's like uh I don't even think there is four. I think there's more than that. If barely. Uh Um, hmm. There's Link the Fire. Yeah, there's two variants on the Dark Lord ending. I don't know what causes them, no one really seems to know, but 
there is a variant on it. Yeah. Oh, that brish. Back to the high wall. High wall, high wall, high wall. There's a rough starter. Still not to abort. Or abort. He's about to be the big guard dog. Oh, kind of funny. Now that I think about that, the first real boss you have is just a giant dog. Woo. He's definitely the... You know, he's like the best first boss from us come up with. In my opinion. Oh yeah, she's a play Wukong. I still have not watched anyone play that. I was thinking of beginning it, but no, well, circumstances changed. Also, it's not even on Xbox. I prefer that. I mean, I could. I have a PC. I have the PS5. I just could get it there. Probably would get it on PS5. Also, the pixel remasters for Final Fantasy have come to Xbox. Woohoo! Yay. Yep, big axe, dude. Still not going on the shortcut. I I, actually, I think the first time I played Dark Souls, the axe guy she just killed dropped his axe for me. And then I used that for a bit. Eventually, I just settled on Hanzo stealing with the Uchi Katana, and that carried me to my second playthrough, and where I became Ornstein. And well, Ornstein is really good, it turns out. Who knew? That the greatest of the four knights was the greatest character to play as. I don't know why Go and Siran's gear didn't show up. I guess they just weren't as popular. My buddy Warnstein and good old Artorius. It's also funny that Ornstein and Sierran are never actually have their names pronounced. Artorius is pretty simple, but most people probably didn't call it as Goth until he named himself like that. Fashion. Yeah, always the last controller. I should just barely be able to get these done before she starts streaming the second part. Yep, just run around the Bailey. Also, there's not like an entire second section of the castle, I have to say. Oh, Fort's Arena. Fort! In the most obvious boss fight arena yet. Yeah, I can't wait till Untended Graves. That is such a mind warp. Like every other time they sort of do that throughout their series, it's just sort of, ooh, neat. Not like, what the hell is this? What does this even mean? Because, you know, in Bloodborne, it's pretty simple. Oh, this is the original workshop and the dream is based off it. And the round table hold is sort of really confusing and nonsensical. It's just a random... Fort, it's next to it. Then it sort of got replicated by Marika. Hi, Bort. Of course he's pissed. He's literally gone mad. Mad with power. That his lady has been mind born. Oh, wow. Two Archon chests back to back. Pretty late, though, so no... Yeah, might as well go beginning. More lightning, more. Go, Vort, go.
Don't worry, Frostbite isn't as bad as in Elden Ring. Yep, look at that damage. No giant HP sponges here. Go, Vort, go. Go with your ridiculous charges. Oh yeah, that music cue as he switches over to his rampaging. Mm-mm. Yeah, ouch. Everything hates fire. That's nice when hit detection worked. Getting close. Shield first, Mari. Show Vort what a real hit against the Bootoxes. Yeah, one first try. And I think the tracks only get better from here. You got Abyss Watchers and old Dragon Slayer armor coming. Oh yeah. Wait, why is it Boreal Valley Vort? Huh. That's... Goyer. Read the soul, read the soul. You're embered every time you beat the pen, and that's why you're on fire. Them bubbles, them bubbles. Yeah, I think you need... Uh, more bats. No, no one can invade you if I think shrine. Touch her darkness, Mori. Touch her darkness. I think you need to be cursed while gay wood in order to be able to get boss weapons from Ludith, I think. Well, it's been like eight years. I can't remember what I did eight years ago. Heck, eight hours ago was a bit confusing. I think I was probably streaming. Yeah, that looks about right. Robler of the days. Hi. What a lame home. Woo. Chest, chest. Spawn Ludith. Assume those stock souls will level up and win. Yata! Yata, yata! Happy go lucky! We're up above the world! Hey, immediate chest. A binder. Love. Maybe they're right. Go kill Gavadoni. Here's for Gavadoni. Oh, huh, the cloaks and the masks load in separately. Wow, oh, that one went down quickly. Oh, that was right on top of me. Hi, Grey Rat. Well, you've killed... You have plenty of souls you killed. Hey, it's in our Holy Vespers. That was a good idea to take that, then. Because now I got the Unholy Buzzsaw. And the Thousand Edge. Huh. Yep, he's just around here somewhere. Oh, Hawkeye, you were almost a Lord of Sunday yourself. Don't go offline, you won't see the blood veins. You'll lose because of that. It's another ring. This one is gold. I wonder if any of them have played Siffy in the night. 
Uh, pray where it's off to see. Huh? Where did the gems go? Did they all get sucked up immediately? Don't you go hollow on me now. Don't you go hollow on me now. Yay, marching. <laughs> ah, always enjoy yourself, even in the end of the world. Fire bombing. It takes quite a while to she can get the great sword since it's in Farron. Yeah, she. Undead Settlement, and then it's Sacrificial Highway, and then it's the Swamp of Farron, or Farron Keep. And Cathedral of the Deep is off to the side, too. Or again, that's so linear, I still don't remember the exact path through it, huh? Well, I do, it's... On 10... It's Cemetery of Ash, Firelink... And then from Firelink, you go to High Wall and kill the first flame. High Wall, you go to Higher High Wall. Lothart Castle. And Undead Settlement. Uh, Lothart Castle goes down Tended Graves. And Undead Settlement. Goes to Road to Sacrifice. Road to Sacrifice goes to Cathedral of the Deep and Fair and Keep. Cathedral of the Deep Dead Ends. Well, goes wherever the painting is. As a Gale. I don't know. I never play the three DLCs. Then you go to Catacombs, then Royal Valley. Oh wait, there's also demon runes off of catacombs. Oh, that's also a dead end. Lamberg. Okay, and then from Barrel of Valley, bad dead ends, but then you got Profane Capital. Or you got the Earfield Jail, and then Profane Capital. And that's it. Ring, ring, ring around your finger. Woohoo, more gem. More money, more money. Yeah, not much to talk about when she's just upgrading stuff. We're talking about going offline because she's the one getting invaded with embers. I ran like a coward myself up plenty. Yeah, DS DS3's armor system is a wretched thing. You have an empty slot, then you take extra damage. Even the worst armor, even if it's only like 0.1, will fix that. Weird and awkward like that. And the poise doesn't work. In a way that's sensible. It gives you poise on very specific frames for certain attacks with certain weapons, but that's it. Oh, hey, it was an arcana chest. Oh. I couldn't even get to it. Oh well. 4.5 on a lightning ring, 21 mil, 8.4, and 1.4. All right, rounding us out is Moonlight Bolero on Moonglow. Oh, neat. Oh, anyway, oh, there's many moon spells. You to moon spell and Bobby Oni, which means the next character I control is going to be McCoy Oni, which is really weird. Uh, anyway, uh, back to reacting some Mori Calafi playing Dark Souls 3. She's about to hoist the banner. 
Four thirty thirty. And she has summoned some bat winged demons to take her down. Grab some gems because it's moon glow. No trouble here. Hi, guys. And we never fight the bat wings here. They're just here to help. Yay. Wait, actually, they're here. Huh. I suppose it's really easy to overlook what with the fact that the demons are dying out, but yeah, there's just some bat wings here hanging out, being all cool and fine and nice. Huh. Undead settlement. Fun, Loretta. It's corpse. Yeah, now you. Well, most of Undead Settlement's probably actually easier than High Wall, except for the Evangelius. Evangelius. Good grief, they are way beefier than a lot of things in the game. Seriously, they're like up there with the Angel Knights. Oh, no. I mean, she's not out of time. She's got like another hour left. More than enough time to run through them. Actually, another thing about it, it's a lot, really large, isn't it? A lot of the Dark Souls areas are very large. I mean, lower on Dead Burg, that's like half of screen. Really, it's very short. Well, then again, it's not officially lower on Dead Burg, that's just the player base name for it. But. Eh. I guess it's because they have much larger skyboxes here. Oh, hey. Dogs, dogs, kill land, I'm hollow, yay. Because then you steal their souls. I know. Even the undead's helmet doesn't like undead. That hit. Wait, are there any? Evangelius are... F the Evangelius... Evangelists are from the Cathedral of the Deep, but I don't remember seeing any there. It's all just Cathedral Knights. who are weirdly stronger than they should be, all things considered. They should not be being a Black Knight one-on-one. -on -one. Weird. Black Knights were the elite of the elite. They were the best there are. There's a reason they annihilate Dark Wraiths. There's a reason they can just solo the Abyss Watchers. Yeah, it does feel weird. That Dark Souls 3 came out after Bloodborne. But it did. Just taking out some dogs. Alluring Skull, that's not a dead beat. That's not a dead beat at all. Hey, yo. Yo. Vlondor. Ooh, dragon. Yo, yeah, yo. That man be dead. Oh, if only. Wait, no, you got a Reaper here. You can do it, you old. You a surprising amount of respect in 3 compared to a lot of the other games, huh? Ordained. Slavery. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yay, sorcery. Huh, there's a lot of stuff happening on Vampire Survivor's screen. I don't even think you all can move. 
It's indentured servitude. That's totally different from slavery. Yeah. I think this fire link has like the most guys you can ever have in it, right? Because Firekeeper Andre and Handmaid are never leaving. Uh, along the way, Yol, Yuria, and Yol, the other one involved with y'all's quest line that I never did because Gwyn was right, dark is wrong. Oh yeah. Uh, Orwin, a dragon assassin, gray rat, patches, always patches, fraternal patches. Uh, Sirius, Hawkwood, Oh yeah, Egan, Raya, Reyna, one of those has got to be correct. Uh, the finger guy. Huh. The obsession with fingers started even here. It, it doesn't matter. My arcana doesn't matter. Pitchfork guy, that's clearly more dangerous than a soldier. Go, Mori, go. Go, Mori, go. Mori, Calliope. Din, din. I bagel. Eat, woman, eat. Oh, good grief. No wonder y'all have so many health complications if all you're eating are a Bagel. Hey, that's a body. Cut it down. Cut it down. There you go. Small leather shield. Oh, hey, I got Silver Wind. I mean, I probably shouldn't talk, but... Oh, right, I could have just gone and grabbed everything. Oh, hey, I didn't have... Please. Go figure. Wait, why am I getting these ones in the corner? I didn't have access to that before. Okay, what's down here? Armor, wings, pomerola. That's actually most of everything I don't have. I feel like it's a big deal, but... They are gray rats. They are undead prisoners. Gray rat. Oh, does Seekward ever come into Firelink? Hmm. Well, actually, no. I suppose two does, because no one really ever leaves Manjula. Oh. Quit in time. 1.354111. Woohoo. Another episode of the Beswick Down. Thanks for watching. Another episode of the Beswick Down. Another 20 characters completed. That brings us up to 1129 in total on the Beswick. And 826 more to go. Right day, it's dropping, dropping, dropping. Next up, it's gonna be McCoy Oni playing along with a whole bunch of others I haven't set up, but it will be a ballsy one, eh? Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Please like, dislike, comment, or subscribe if you haven't. And if you have, thank you. Either way, I hope everyone has a good day and you keep messing around the Vampire Survivors Beswick.